Whether you are having trouble with knowing what is and what isn't a queen ant, or you are just interested in ants, then this is the perfect video for you, because I will be breaking down queen ant identity and sharing some devastating news with you all around my ant collection. First of all, let's talk about what sets a queen apart from the rest of the colony. The queen is typically much larger than her worker ants, but this is not the only key characteristic of a queen ant. Here are three other features to help set them apart. Queens have a larger thorax, which is the middle section of an ant. This is because they have wing muscles from their wings that used to be attached. Due to the wings, queens will also have wing scars on their thorax if you look really close. The final characteristic that queens have to help set them apart is they typically have a larger abdomen. This is because they are built to lay thousands of millions of eggs. Now, as you may already know, for some species of ants, the queens can be identified extremely easy. For example, all fully colostal ant species make identifying queens super easy. This is due to them having large abdomens as well as a large thorax. Despite this, many people still manage to get them mixed up with major workers, especially with a full abdomen of food. Don't let this trick you, as here is the difference between a campanized major worker and a queen. As you can see, there is still a clear difference between the two, due to the worker having a smaller thorax and abdomen. For semi-colostral ants, it is a whole nother story. This is because when a queen takes their wings off, they look virtually the same as a worker ant. The only real difference is size. This makes identifying the queen extremely hard, as you may have no idea of what size a worker actually should be compared to the queen. If you're in this situation, say for either bull ants, Rhytrobinera ants, or even Polyrachis ants, then I would suggest looking closely for those wing scars. After doing this, if you are either completely unsure or just want to clarify that it is indeed a queen ant, then I would recommend joining my Discord and sending some photos in. I will be happy to help and I will leave a link in the description. That basically covers queen ant identity, but here are a few things to consider. Not all queens take their wings off straight away, and some may actually choose to leave them on their entire life. Many people also get drones, which are male ants, mixed up with queens. This is due to them having wings. But as you can see from this image, drones generally have a little pinhead with long antenna and an extremely weird shaped body, which I think makes them look quite creepy. Sadly, this week I lost another what was small colony. However, I did see this coming, as after receiving the meat ant queen three months ago with two workers, they gradually lost them both and eventually the queen this week. On the bright side, it is the time of year that meat ants fly, so I will hope to catch a few. It's now time to announce the winner from last week's giveaway. So congratulations to Gordon C for winning this nest. Leave a comment to claim your new nest. Anyway, that's about all for today. And if you found this video at all interesting, then please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Also, be sure to check out one of my latest videos if you are interested in knowing when and where you have the best chance at catching a queen ant. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.